Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Manatee County, Florida, with Ass Elmo auditing America as he attempts to, well, bother everybody in the local courthouse and he ends up getting booted out the door about as fast as he managed to make it in. And as a result, he turns into a gigantic whiny man baby. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, folks? Auditing America. We're out in Manatee County, Florida. We're doing some First Amendment auditing. We're gonna see if they respect our rights to video record in a public place. This right here is the historic courthouse, clerk of court. Over here we have another city uh, building or state uh, uh, county building. So, and over here is the judicial building. Let's go over here and see how, how they treat us over here. How much you want to bet that he's going to ignore this sign completely? Because, well, he always does. And he ends up getting kicked out quite a bit because of it. So let's carry on and see the fireworks. Why not? That's the rule. That they can't take pictures in here. Well, we have the right to video record. So I'm sorry. We have the right to video record. Mm -hmm. We don't. Not in here. Not in not, here. Not in the clerk's office. Not in the. Is it the city district. building? No, it's a county building. Oh, it's a county building. Perfect. That means it's funded by tax dollars. Correct. Yeah, our rights are protected here, sir. It should be okay. Ask Elmo, how many times have you been kicked out of courthouses uh, because you don't understand the meaning of attorney-client privilege or other security issues within these uh, buildings? And you know what? I still wish I knew you were at the Leon County Courthouse a while back because I was just down the road from you. If I'd have known you were there, I would have paid you a special visit. But then again, I would have had to skip out on work, and I don't exactly need to be doing that. But you know what? At least I have a regular job. I appreciate you trying to uh, give me some information, but that's not the correct one. What's your name? Perez. Perez? Perez. Nice to meet you, Perez. Have a good day. Well, it's actually, we have freedoms in America. Well, actually, I wasn't interested in filming you anyway. You see, that's a Karen right there. How you doing, sir? And you're an asshole with a criminal record, especially one with kidnapping charges on it, too. So you might want to back off on the Karen speech because you would be the ultimate Karen. Doing excellent. May I have your name and your position here? Deputy Boyer. Thank you. I appreciate it. How come we have... um? this fourth amendment waiver area here do you guys do you guys agree with this oh you whiny little punk it's called security measures you dumbass i mean if we didn't have these uh checkpoints at courthouses people would bring all sorts of nefarious things into this courthouse to cause trouble you know the kinds of things that might end up with people being unalived 
for various reasons. Hell, they might even go after a judge. But hell, you don't care about that now, do you? I'm not liberty state. I'm just here to do my job, man. Well, you are at liberty. You're in the right uh, country for for liberty. Correct. And and this is pertaining to your job. Uh, your your duties are to protect freedom, not to take them away. How come you guys are uh, have set up a Fourth, Am Fourth Amendment waiver area uh, or security checkpoint in a publicly accessible area? Well, there are several issues at hand right here that are so blatantly obvious, but you're too much of a moronic douche canoe to understand them. I mean, they're not waiving their Fourth Amendment rights. They're not, their property and uh, personal papers are not being seized. They're just getting their IDs checked to make sure they're legitimate. And second of all, like I said before, there are some people that don't have very good intentions when they enter this courthouse. So this is pretty much a deterrent for them. And would you want to make it easier for criminals to do nasty things? Oh, wait. I, I don't forgot who I was talking to. I am talking to Ass Elmo, somebody who was uh, charged with kidnapping and false imprisonment and a lot of other things in his life. Oh, so yeah, you're one of those criminals who want to make it easier for criminals to commit crimes. Oh, that's right. I forgot. They don't they don't have these at the police department. I'm not trying to be confrontational, sir. I'm just asking. Oh, there you go. That's the that's the treatment the citizens get. Oh, are you upset that the mean old police officer is ignoring you? Are you upset at that? Well, maybe you should go home and crawl into bed and cry into your little pillow and uh, ask mommy to make it all better somehow. Maybe she'll bake you some warm chocolate chip cookies while she's at it. Oh, man, you're such a whiny little baby. But hey, the best of his whining is still to come, so let's carry on. How you doing? Okay. So you see, cops are rude. Child support depository. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I can you help me, please. I'm just doing a video about the public building. I'm not. I don't think you can do that. Hold on. Why? Why don't you think that? Hold on a second. Come on. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? May I have your name and position here, please? I'm a supervisor. Nice to meet you. Could you please explain to her that this is a publicly accessible area and that we are allowed to video record? So I can give you this a copy of this AO, but there is an administrative order that was signed in 2020 that now does not allow anybody to record or take pictures in the building. Anymore. Right. That's fine, but you uh, mean remove from the building? Uh, sir, please don't touch go, me. Go, why go, are you guys? Go, why are you harass? So, why? Why are you assaulting go, me? Go, go, please, why are you go. assaulting me? Go. I'm not being disorderly. No. I'm not interfering no. with anything here. Why are you guys doing this? Can't call your supervisor, please. Can't you can't just the touch he people. Was the one that you can't so. just touch me, brother. Just, so you, you know that's so. breaking bye. the law. Do bye, you know bye, what bye, simple bye. battery is? Because, you have to yeah. tell me. No, listen, no, you need no, to no, slow you your roll. No. Aviles, no. you're a tyrant. Don't worry about it. You're a tyrant. Oh, yes, no. I worry no. about it. I'm going to be outside waiting for your okay, supervisor. You, should, you, you need to call, call your supervisor. Part of the rules of you need to call your supervisor. Okay, thank you. You need to call your supervisor. Thank call your supervisor. You. We'll see. We'll see. Because there's thousands watching you right now. So thank you. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Go call somebody who actually cares, dude. Because you can't exactly be filming in that courthouse anyway because of security issues, dumbass. And questioning those... Uh, security officers or police officers on the uh, Fourth Amendment issues of that checkpoint is freaking ridiculous, dude. I mean, you should know that. But then again, you're a criminal scumbag who really doesn't give a shit about anybody else anyway, and you've proven that in the past. So let's carry on and hear more of your pathetic, whiny little potty mouth. 
Sir, why you? Why are you? Why are you? Be, why are you harassing me? Yes, I can. It's a public place. It's a public place. You guys, you guys assaulted me. You guys assaulted me. I want to speak to your supervisor because you you broke the law. You broke the law. So you can't go anywhere. Are you his supervisor? Because this guy just broke the law. This guy just broke the law. You guys are cops, right? Let's go, man. Okay. okay. I ain't got time for this. This guy broke the law. You guys are all part of this. Are you gonna help him break the law? Do you know what dereliction of duty is? I Did you know there's thousands of people watching you right now? You appreciate me? Jesus You're gonna, Christ you guys are all, you guys are all gonna be in trouble tomorrow for uh, allowing this officer to assault right me. No, I'm not. Yeah, it's right. called freedom of speech. I can say whatever I want. Yeah. No, you guys put your hands on me for no reason. You're know, harassing no. me. Yes. No, yes. Right no, you guys are harassing us. Go ahead, frame me with something. Cause you know what? Even if, even if I was to. I'm not breaking the law, so if you guys want to arrest me for being free in America, go ahead. But I'll be right out, and then I'm going to protest. You, why are you being aggressive? No, you guys are being aggressive. Why you put you your hands on me. Why you put your hands you, on no, me? No, I did not. Okay, because I've been filming for the whole time, so go ahead and lie. Go ahead and lie. Go ahead and lie. Go ahead and lie. There's cameras everywhere. There's cameras everywhere. Go ahead and lie. No, I'm not okay. You guys just assaulted me. You guys, it's a public building. Do you, need, do you have any business in there? Yes. You kick me out within. You know? you, all you want to you, do is report no, me. I can. I can. Actually, I can. It's called, the it's called freedom of the press. First of all, you are not the press. You are just some douche canoe with a camera who goes around causing trouble. And second of all, the Second Amendment does not give unlimited freedom for the press it just makes it easier for you to publish your stories it has nothing to do with entering an area and staying there at your leisure without uh the owner of the building trespassing you because they don't want you there and you lied you're trying to frame me with a with a charge a fraudulent charge go ahead do it because i'm known nationwide for never breaking the law so go ahead Liar! You're no nationwide for never breaking the law. Dude, you have a criminal record. You have broken the law. You've been tried and you've been convicted. You, there was evidence against you on several occasions, especially with the kidnapping charges that you have on your record. Dude, quit lying your ass off. Go ahead. Did you know we have a hundred million views on the internet? You just mess up. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Add populum fallacy, dude. Just because you have a hundred million views or something like that doesn't mean your uh, viewpoint is the correct one. So try again, dumbass. Well, you better because this is the new era and I'm gonna expose you as a tyrant. I'm gonna expose you as a tyrant. Enjoy that walk of shame. Enjoy that walk of shame. Enjoy that. No, you're with the devil. Don't involve Jesus. You're with the devil. Enjoy that walk of shame, tyrants. I'm going to go speak to your supervisors. I'm going to go speak to your supervisors. You guys are tyrants. You guys are dangerous people. That's why people like us are out there recording your job. It's freedom of speech. It's freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. You guys are tyrants. This is not what you guys got hired for. This is not what you guys got hired for. Ha! I love it that you did it to my camera though. I love it because it's gonna be exposed. It's gonna be exposed. As Elmo, the only thing that's been exposed here is you, once again, for being a complete and total dumbass, for not understanding one shred of the Constitution, for not understanding one shred of the law, and for having some of the worst possible arguments on the books when it comes to frauding. So there's that as well, which basically means... You're an all-around loser and always will be. So just deal with it and move on with your life and go somewhere else. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.